Hello and welcome. My name is Christopher Flatt and this is my short presentation on the Common Chef source section at BA Chef UK www.becomingachef.co.uk. So what is the source section? So the source section is a hot section in a professional kitchen where you'll be making hot sauces and possibly doing some meat cooking as well. This would all depend on the size of the kitchen and how big the brigade is. You'll be passing the correct sauce to the pass during a busy service, You're making soups, making stocks, making sauces, making bisques. And you'll also be preparing some hot garnishes for dishes. So jobs when running the sauce section. So firstly, most importantly, checking the quality and the freshness of the ingredients that comes into your section. Other jobs will include making soups. This include broths, purees and consommes, making stocks, including bullions, a meat bullion, fish bullion, making vegetable nages, it's like a vegetable stock, and making bisques, such as a lobster bisque, making sauces, such as a butter sauce or hollandaise sauces, tomato sauces, demi-glace sauces, bechamel sauces, velouté's. You'll also be rotating your stock and keeping an eye on your ordering, making sure you do not run out of ingredients. Common chef jobs for the sauce section will include preparing vegetables for soups. So this will be your basic cutting and chopping of vegetables. Cutting a mirepoix. So this is a bit more technical of the cutting, but you're doing a mirepoix in different sizes. So you could have a chunky mirepoix, or you could have a fine brunoise of a mirepoix. The mirepoix is a mix of onions, carrots, celery, and leeks, um, some bay leaf, and some herbs, maybe some thyme and you can you know, adjust this as you so wish. You'll be skimming and passing stocks, pureeing soups and then passing them, peeling onions, learn the different types of onions, because there's many different types of onions, for example, red onion, white onion, Spanish onion and shallots. Dicing onions to the correct sizes. So your sizes will be a large dice, a medium dice, a small dice and a brunoise. And it's really good to get a practice in of dicing the correct sizes. You'll be roasting bones for stock. So you'll be roasting veal bones off in the oven, um, ready to get them into the stock to create the flavour of the stock. You'll be managing the stocks. So you'll have a big pan. Um, it'll have the stock in there. It'll have all the bones, all the vegetables. And then you'll be managing it by skimming it. Every now and then and making sure the stock doesn't burn, making sure it's not on too high, keeping the temperature adjusted so it's just cooking over. It's not rapidly boiling, it's just ticking over. You'll be working well during a service. So the sauce section, you're getting into the more, you know, technical side of the kitchen. The sauce needs to work well with the meat section and the fish section to get the sauces up at the same time. So this is this section is generally run by a more experienced common chef. And you will also need to organise your section with equipment. You want to be make sure you don't run out of pans, you don't run out of saucepans, you don't run out of spoons. You know, you don't run out of equipment during a busy service. And if you do, you know where to go to get the equipment quickly or you know who to ask for. You'll also be keeping your fridges clean and keeping the stock rotated. Common Chef Sauce Section Tips. So ask to practice new skills. Always ask to practice new skills no matter what section you're on. Have a look, see what the other chefs are doing. If you see something you know, you're not sure of doing or you, you need some practice, at, just ask them, say, look, can I help you here? Or so on. You know, there is a lot to learn on the sauce section, to learn all the sauces, and it can and it's starting to get, you know, very technical. Um, have a good set of knives and make sure they're sharp. Make sure you've got a good set of knives now. You're not a beginner commie in the kitchen. Um, you need, you're starting to get into, you know, with the more experienced chefs now. So you need a good set of knives and make sure you know how to sharpen them correctly. You need a sharp knife. Learn the types of sauces. Now, there are so many different sizes of sauces out there. However, the bases of the sauces are a velouté, a hollandaise, a tomato, a bechamel and a demi-glace. Now, most other sauces are different versions of these sauces or use the base of these sauces in their makeup. So you also want to learn to bring sauces back. This is prevent splitting. So what I mean by this is during a busy service, for instance, you may have a hollandaise sauce. 
and you're working, it's busy, it's a Saturday night and the Holland Day sauce is overheated and it starts to split and it separates. This is where, you know, it just, it all comes apart and it just doesn't look good. You need to learn how to either take that sauce and bring it back so it emulsifies again and it can be used or you need to learn how to quickly make a new hollandaise sauce ready for service because using a split hollandaise sauce is not very nice. You need to develop organizational skills on a service so you're working well, you're working organized, the more you develop that, the more you'll work better with the team and the more efficient the service will run and the better the quality will become. So thank you very much for listening to my short presentation on the sauce section. My name is Christopher Flat. You can get me at BA Chef UK. Don't forget to subscribe below, give me a thumbs up, and come and don't forget to come and visit me at www.cabinetchef.co.uk. Thank you very much.